left to me alone every pig farmer should be adequate and knowledgeable about every aspect of pig farming if you have ever crossed yourself and wondering why it is taking too long to farrow I will share with you how to correctly understand and calculate the gestation period or length. Gestation is the length of pregnancy until the pig finally furrows. For pigs, we usually say triple three, which is three months, three weeks, three days. And maybe someone may continue to see hours and minutes and seconds. Converting it into this, is it actually on the 114th day? What is even the essence of knowing the exact day? If you have ever missed the timing and lost piglets through that, you will better understand the importance of today's topic. Do not skip any part of this video. It is continuous, so watch to the end to get everything. To make it more understandable to you, I will be using a lot of scenarios to illustrate the point. The months in the year are closely related to the number of days a sow or a guilt takes to farrow or deliver her later. For instance, if your sow is crossed in the last day of December, it will carry the pregnancy through January, February, and March, and then plus three weeks and three days. You get it? January has 31 days, February 28, and March 31 days. There are also 21 days in the three weeks. So 31 plus 21 plus 3 plus 21 plus 3 gives you 114 days. That is one. Let's also say that you cross your pegs for easy calculation in the last day of April. Now, it will last through May to July for the three months. Know that May has 31 days, June has 30 days, and July has 31 days, plus the 3 weeks and the 3 days. So 31 plus 30 plus 3 plus 21 plus 3 again gives you 116 days. What if your soul was crossed on the last day of January? To count the number of days starting from 1st of February, which has 28 days, March 31 days, and April, which also has 30 days, plus the 3 weeks and 3 days. Here, 28 plus 31 plus 30 plus 21 plus 3 gives you 118 days. From this, you could see that the actual gestation period takes between 113 and 116 days before the piglets are delivered. It is possible for farrowing to happen on the 111th day, as I have experienced this before, or even the 117th day. This is just the mathematical aspect of it. Of course, hormones and environmental factors also affect gestation. Stress can also contribute to earlier farrowing. One interesting thing I have noted on my farm is that the parent sow farrows on the 114th day, a girl from her litter farrows on the 113th day, and another from uh, another set of litter, which is the second litter, also farrows on the 111th day, which I have actually taken note of them very, very well. I am yet to see what happens in that of her third litter. Having known this, if your sow follows anywhere between 111th day and 117th day, it is normal and your piglets are fully developed. If weaknesses arise, they could be caused during the following process or by poor care given to the sow at pregnancy. If you practice natural breeding, a day is okay to get her pregnant. Service her twice a day and must be done in the mornings before feeding and in the evenings, 12 hours apart. You must be frequent on the farm, 5 days to follow or three. Another thing I have taken note of on my farm is if I have my sow serviced first in the evening and last in the morning, they do follow in the daytime, a few hours to sunset. By which time, we are not sleeping, so I am able to assist them. But those that were serviced last in the evening, they followed in the middle of the night, often leading to loss of piglets or injuries. I am still experimenting to know how consistent this can be. If that becomes certain, then it will make more sense to follow such a pattern by servicing last in the day. Okay, so that it will give birth in the daytime, which I will still be awake to go and assist. Good luck in your farming journey, and I'm sure you have found something out of this video useful. Don't forget to subscribe and then connect with me on the social media.